Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky and in today's video we are going to learn how to enable billing on AWS account. In order to enable the billing on the AWS account, we require three services. First one is the AWS billing access. Second one is the CloudWatch and the third one is the IAM. Now why we need the IAM so that we can give proper permission to our user so that that user is able to enable the billing if you are logged in with the root user then it's okay you don't have to do anything because with the root user you already have access to all those things now how to enable let's go step by step and understand for this we need to go to the cloud uh, not to the cloud watch first we need to go to the billing now this is the billing dashboard here what we need to do is we need to come to the preferences and from the preferences we need to select the billing preferences. Here we have couple of options like invoice and alert preferences. We need to go to the alert and here we need to enable this thing. CloudWatch billing alert. Need to remember one more thing once we are going to enable this thing there is no way we can disable it. So let me show it to you. In my case or in my account this is already enabled and if I'm going to click on edit see here it is giving me the message once enabled this preference cannot be disabled now here I want my alert to go to the cloud watch and in the cloud watch I'm going to create an alert for that how to enable this thing we just need to click on this and we just need to check this box then we need to click on update and we are good and it is going to enable one more thing which you need to remember once we are going to enable this thing it will take 15 minutes to get fully activated now once this thing is enabled what we need to do is we need to go to the cloud watch here we need to remember couple of points as well billing metrics data is only going to be stored in the North Virginia region irrespective of the region you are using so let's suppose if you are using Mumbai region or any other region and you are enabling the cloud watch all the metrics data is going to be stored in the North Virginia only so this is the main thing alarms are only going to trigger when it is going to cross the threshold value and there is an option as well I will show it to you once we are going to create an alarm for this thing in the cloud watch I will show you how the alarm is going to trigger there we have options but remember one thing whenever we are going to enable this thing alarms are only going to trigger once it is going to exceed the value so let in my case I have created a billing uh, alert on one dollar now once it is going to raise one dollar go above the value of one dollar then it is going to send me the notification or send me the alarm for that and one more thing let's suppose you have set a billing uh, alert let's suppose one dollar or something and your billing amount is already more than one dollar then what will happen it is going to give you the alarm straight away one more point which is very important all the charges are going to be in the USD so irrespective of the country you are working you have the charges in the US dollar only so we are in the cloud watch here we need to go to the alarm and in the alarm we need to go to any metrics like in alarm or all alarm and from here we need to select create alarm option now in the create alarm option what we need to do is we need to select the metrics now here in the metrics what we need to do is we need to search for the billing here we will get billing by service billing total estimated charges so we need to select this one total estimated charges once we click on that see here we have the USD and we need to check this one and select metrics now we have selected the metrics so we will be presented with this screen now what we need to do is here maximum is fine we are not going to change it okay but we do have the other option as well so if you want to change something like average some um, maximum you can do that but I will go with the maximum period is going to be for six hour but if you want to increase the period you can do that you can go with the custom value as well currency is only going to be in the USD you cannot change this one metrics name you can update it if you want 
now here we have the threshold type so here we will go with the static value the default value here we have the greater greater equal lower equal and lower see here if we are going to select the greater equal or lower or something like that it is going to work but the recommended is we will always go with the greater so whenever the threshold is greater than the particular value then it is going to give us the alert now here in the usd we can mention like 20 usd i can mention let me go to the advanced configuration in the data point one out of one is fine with me treat data is missing i'm not going to change this value here we have the option to send a notification now we have three state here one is when our alert is in alarm the second situation is when it is in the ok state and the third one is the insufficient data Let's understand the difference between the insufficient and in alarm in alarm is whatever the value we have set and it has crossed that value then our alarm is going to be in alarm but what is this insufficient sometime it happen when you know whatever the alert we are configuring we are not getting the proper input from that alert in those situation or rather i would say when the alarms are not configured properly in those situations it will say insufficient data okay so if you get insufficient data at the time of creating of the alarm or let's suppose you have just created an alarm and after that you are getting an insufficient data wait for one one or two minute it will automatically get changed to ok or in alarm state but if it is not going to change then we need to look for it because insufficient means that it is not receiving the input we can create a new topic we can use an existing sns topic so the best way create a new topic and here we can mention the email id whatever the email id you want to mention you can mention it here create a topic and it will send the notification on that after that we do have other actions as well but these actions are not applicable for this one so we are not going to do anything then next and let me remove this thing i don't want this notification next here we need to give the name of the alarm once we are going to do that we can create this thing so let me give the name estimated charges something like this next and from here we can create alarm see insufficient data that is what i was talking about when the alarm is not getting any input then it will say insufficient data if i have configured it correctly what will happen it is going to change the state to ok or something like that thank you